What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about the CDS current environment connector, and we're going to look at the Unrelate Records action. Now if you watched my previous video on Relate Records, Unrelate Records is the exact opposite of that. So Relate Records is where we could connect two pieces of, uh, two records together uh, via a relationship. This is actually removing that relationship and unrelating those records. So I've previously said that um, the power of CDS and the power of Dynamics 365 is to do with uh, its relational database. Uh, it's one of it's one of the most powerful things in it, and that is why it should be used as a good data storage place because you can uh, relate pieces of data to each other. Um, now, you know, CDS and Dynamics have loads of other great benefits. That's just one, and one that I think is really, really important to get through to people is that relational databases are really good when you're working with relational data. You don't want to use, um, you know, flat data like a SharePoint list if you need it to be relational. So it's really important to choose the right data source for your data. Uh, and with that, I'm going to step off my high horse and I'm going to get on with this video. So I'm in, uh, I'm in Power Automate here and I've got a CDS current environment uh, flow, which means that this flow is inside a solution. Firstly, I have a trigger. Now the trigger is um, when we update an account and the filter attribute is uh, telephone one, which means when we update telephone one, we're going to trigger this flow. Next, we have a get record um, step here. And this is to help us get a bit of information out that we want um, so that we can uh, use this later on. Uh, you don't actually need this step. Uh, this was just something that I was using to show you something and I'll show that to you in a little bit. Uh, if you watch the unrelate, if you watch the relate video, you'll know where I'm going with this. So um, this GUID here is actually a hard-coded GUID for a record that we have in my dynamic system. And that is for this one, the uh, Acme Inc. Corporation. Uh, next, we're gonna choose next step. Uh, we're gonna type into the search bar, common data service. And we're gonna choose the second one here that says common data service, current environment. Now, when this loads up, as it has here, there is an option down here that says unrelate records. So if we click on that, we get four options. So we have our four parameters we need to put in. We have entity name, item ID, relationship, and URL. So the entity name is the is, is the entity that you want to unrelate um, things from. So this is going to be unrelated from both sides, but you need to choose a, a start inside as well. So in this instance, I'm going to choose accounts because what we're going to do is in my last video, we showed um, creating a relationship of a parent and a child account. So uh, we're going to actually break that relationship now. So we're going to choose accounts. The item ID, uh, we're actually going to use the uh, account that we're going to trigger this from. So not this one, we're going to use where the trigger step is. So this one when a record is created, updated or deleted, we'll choose this account here as the dynamic content. Uh, then we need to choose the relationship. So this is to say which relationship are we actually removing? Because you could have multiple relationships on the same entity. You need to specify that relationship. So in this instance, um, we're going to choose uh, account account on store parent account, but you have all of these other options as well. So the first name is the other entity, uh, and then we have the actual relationship name. So you can see this if you go into the system and start looking at the relationships. Um, so we have things like um, contacts, so contact or contract, sorry, contract underscore customer underscore accounts. We've got uh, email, so account underscore emails. Um, there's loads of different uh, relationships in the system, but the one we're using today is the account parent account. And then we need the URL. So the URL is the full sort of API endpoint that we need um, to, to specify. So in my instance, it would be the name of my Dynamics instance and my Dynamic domain, uh, like forward slash data, forward slash API, uh, then the version number, then the um, entity, and then the, the druid. Now to get that, you can get that in a couple of ways. You can either just write that out. It's not a very hard URL to remember. You can write that out. You can also get that um, via row data, uh, which is actually what I'm going to show you here. But what I'm going to do to do that is I'm actually going to make this record, this flow fail. So if I type in here, O data, uh, I have this O data ID from this uh, get record here. 
So if I put that in there and click on test, and I'm just going to test this from a, another um, from a flow that I run previously. Although it's there we go. It's just taking a minute. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because there are some sometimes where just running a flow, even though it's going to fail, is actually going to be really useful to you. It's going to save you some time or it's going to save you some mistakes. So I tend to do this a lot when I'm using JSON. So if I want to use a parse JSON um, option um, or a step, I'm not going to write the whole JSON stream myself because I'll probably do it wrong. What I'm instead going to do is I'm going to trigger a flow to then give me that example um, payload back in JSON format. I'm going to copy that JSON body. I'll use the generate from uh, from sample option in the parse JSON action, and then paste that in. Generate the sample, and that'll generate the schema for me. So I'm doing the, ex or the you know nearly the exact same thing here, just to show you that there are multiple ways to do this, and that would be if Power Automate wanted to. Um, wanted to do something today. Let's try that again. Click test. Uh, I'm just trying to go back a page and see this is probably run. Um, my Power Automate environment is running a little bit slowly today. So uh, I'm just waiting for it to catch up. There we go, run then. Um, so once this loads up, uh, we're basically going to get a OData endpoint uh, that we're going to use. Now, uh, if I show you something different for while it's loading. So this is my Acme Incorporated um, account, and it has a parent account of Wayne Enterprises. So that's the relationship that I want to break. I want to remove that. Let's go back here, see if this is finally updated. This is taking a little while. Uh, Apologies for this. Do you know what? I'm just going to show you it another way. Um, if you want to check that out, that's in my uh, Relate Records video, but um, I'm just going to try and edit this in here. So, right, cool. So, instead of using that, um, I've actually got it in my keyboard buffer, uh, this one. So this is what I was trying to show you. So it would come, it would come out with this version 9 uh, API here. So it says v9.1. It fails because it's v9.1. I think this is an issue with um, what it's expecting. So it's expecting a 9.0 and you're actually giving it 9.1 uh, API version. I think that's a, a bit of a, a bug at the moment and that'll be sorted out. But usually you'll be able to get this through your OData ID, I believe. So. All this is, is it's just my dynamics domain, forward slash API, forward slash data, forward slash the API version, forward slash the account, um, the sort of the entity name in plural, and then the ID of the record. So that's all it is. And now, you, I said, you could type this out. I was trying to show you, um, you know, running a test flow, yeah, it's error. It'll give you this 9.1, um, yeah, OData endpoint instead. You just need to change it to 9.0, and then this will work. So once I've done that, uh, I can test this flow. So if I click on test, I'll perform the trigger action. Uh, and we'll just give this a minute. Now, if I go over to my Wayne Enterprises um, record in, in Dynamics now, if I update this telephone number, then uh, the, the flow should trigger. Um, I said it is taking a, a couple of minutes at the moment. Um, but we will see if this triggers. And if I go back to my accounts, I can actually see it has triggered already. So if I go back to my Acme Inc. Um, record that I had before, it previously had a parent account of Wayne Enterprises. It no longer has that. So that has been removed. So that's how this works, is that it kind of, it runs through, it takes the the relationship and it takes that data and it removes it and breaks that relationship this is still rendering uh, i think power automate is having a, a bit of a day today or at least my system is so 
Um, that's what the unrelate records does. So whereas the relate records allows you to connect two pieces of data, unrelate allows you to remove those things as well. And it works for any of the any of the relationships you've got on those records. So I've done it account to account, but you could do it account to contact, you could do it contact to account, you could do it contact to opportunity, you know, opportunity to quote. You can break all those relationships because those are things that you can uh, you can do. So it's a it's a four step action. Um, you put in your entity name, you put in your ID of a record, you put in the relationship and then you put in the full URL, that OData endpoint, um, including the, the GUID um, and the entity name and it removes that relationship. And it's really simple. So you can also do this with updating records and, and setting things to null, but this is a nice and easy four step process to be able to do that. And if that's all you're doing, I'd use that over updating a record. But as always, I like to know what you guys use this for. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. It would be appreciated. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to get all notifications about new videos, click that bell. It will help you out and get new videos uh, currently daily. And I'll see you next time.